Well, guys, I'm waiting for the old computer to come on over there. While I'm going to do that, I'm going to show you what I'm going to do tomorrow. I'm not doing it today. Uh, I just got this uh, delivered to me, but it's in the afternoon. I'll do it tomorrow. I got a new project. We're going to, you'll see what I'm going to do, but you can see what this is. The uh, huh, rebate eligible. Well, you can't beat that now, can you guys? Let's see what we got in the box. Come on, open up. There we go. I know what's in the box. It says right there, Beehive. House is less, uh, about not even a year old. This part ain't. And it already went out. The controller for the sprinkler system. And I kind of wanted uh, to get one that I can control from the phone. And that's what this is. As you can see, I'm just now opening it. You guys are first to see it. Oh, you see, I've been getting my boots ready for Sturgis. That's the black dye. Did you guys buy any of that stuff out there at Sturgis they were selling? You know, the girls were putting it on your feet. Your shoes, not your feet. Anyway, hell, they could, they could sell ice water to an Eskimo. They sold me one. Okay, let's see what we got. Let's see if we can get into it. It's supposed to be real easy to set up. This comes apart. I'll probably show you all this m tomorrow. I'm just going to show you what comes in the box right now. Because my computer came on. I'm going to go get on the treadmill. You guys don't know it, but well, some of you do. I watch uh, your YouTube videos when I'm on the treadmill. That goes in there. I know where that goes. There's your power source. Some screws to put it on with. Stick it in the wall. Oh, that's for the... That'll show you that when we open this up tomorrow. That's for putting your wires in. We're just going to take the other one off the wall and just set this one. It's supposed to be very easy. I think it lights up right there. I think it does. We'll see. It's a eight section, which is what I needed. So, well, I'm only running seven, but I have one. I can run eight, so we're going to do a little more work, put another section of that in also. But there's two minutes and 30 seconds of Bible. That's what's in the box. Yeah. Nothing else. Okay. Stop. Okay. I don't want to return it. See y'all. Next clip coming up. Well, right it's the next morning. I've checked out the uh, instructions here a little bit. One thing I found out, this has the two commons. Uh, my old one only has one set of commons. Uh, one common wire, which is your white wire most of the time. Uh, but what you want to do is you want to take a picture of the, if you have one up already, you want to take a picture of it so you can look and put your colors, colored wires back into the holes they belong in because you're going to have uh, different zones. This is an eight zone. And uh, so you're going to have different zones, and you're going to have different wires for each one. If you already got them set up, you don't want to mess up with that. Just take a picture, put your colors back in there. I mean, it's going to be pretty simple. They got a little screwdriver here. You just take this screwdriver, put it in here, loosen these up, put your wire in there, mount it on the wall, or mount it on the wall first. One thing you want to do is... Don't plug this thing into the wall until you got it hooked up to here. Or you're going to be zapping things because you got your, uh, you touch them wires together once that's plugged in. Yeah, that might create a little electricity. You see how they're touching already there? So if you plug that in right now, zap, zap, you may burn this thing out. Or you may short out. Or you might blow up. Who knows? Dorothy and the wizard may show up. I don't know. But don't do it. Put this wire in there before you plug in this. Uh, now, I'm going to go take a picture of the one I got hanging on the wall. And uh, then we're going to pull it off and put this one on. Should be that simple. Shouldn't take long at all. Now, if you've got brand new wires, you just put your wire where you want. And then... Uh, uh, well, I'll take I'll take a picture of mine, so you can you can copy it exactly if you want. But uh, it's just you put your wire where you want, your zone where you want. Each one has its own zone. Each color of wire represents a zone. You do what you want. 
And then uh, program it, which uh, we're going to go through that uh, and program the dang thing. So let's go take a picture. All of that. right, you just pull this off. Mine was a hunter, the old one. It's just a, it's a automatic, but it isn't uh, Wi-Fi. Now then, got all them. I got the picture there of the wires. This is the wires I was telling you about, different colors. My gray one was never hooked up. That was zone eight. But uh, I'll show you what we're going to do there. Now then, I want to unplug that right there before I undo the wires. Okay? That's going to be the first thing I do. I'm going to take all them wires off. I'm going to mount mine on first to the wall and then stick the wires through it. And I'll show you what it is. I mean, it's pretty simple. You just undo the wire. Stick it back in the other hole. Can't get much simpler than that, can it? All right. I'm going to get in on that. Well, that is off. <laughs> and I, I paid somebody to do this. He just screwed it right into the sheetrock. No, nothing else. Screwed it into the sheetrock. It was ready to fall off anyway. Not happy with the guy who did my yard work. You can see that video on here, too. Anyway, uh... Now we got to pull to get these wires uh, straightened out. I got an extra wire to bring up through there because this gray wire, I, it's for zone eight, but it don't go to where I want it to go, so I ran new wiring. So I'm going to pull that up and I'm going to get rid of zone eight here, number eight, the gray one, and I'll show you what I'm going to do there. But that's how easy that came off. Took off the screws, loosened them up, popped that right off. Okay, guys, it's mounted. I'll show you a picture of it, too, snapshot. But I just set my phone right here with the picture on it, right like that, so I could just color code it and move it over to here. Now, this is all set up. Now, you got a pump, or P, depending on your unit, you don't need that unless you're out there, uh, you got a, you know, your own uh, water pump for uh, a well. So you don't need that one. And you got a sensor here, if you're going to hook up your water sensor, if you got an exterior one, you know, you can hook it up here. Otherwise, leave it looped together like that. You're all good to go there. Now, I've used this common and this common because they're both hooked together. The, this common goes to my new wire, which is this one right here. The, it's a uh, yellow and orange wire. Because, like I said, the gray wire here, the other end of it, I don't know where they lost it, so I rewired it with my own wires. Because this is going to go to the, my last and uh, new zone. I'll show you that in, in a minute. I got uh, stuff to hook that up. But this is hooked up, except for i got to hook up my uh, hot wires now. Then plug them in, and then that'll be ready to go. Then you just put your cap on it, your top, and you got a little thing here. This thing here goes, this goes right in like so, and helps hide the wires, you know. I think it goes that way. And that'll do that. Pretty self-explanatory. This, this clips right onto the back of here like so. And then that holds all your wires. There you go. All right. I'm showing you now. That just goes in there like that. Holds your wires in. Makes them nice and pretty. All right. So I'm going to hook up the electrical to that. And it, it's ready to go. Putting this on the wall was really easy. Programming it, however, <laughs> that's a different animal. Oh, yeah. You just follow the prompts, guys. And uh, right now I got it manually uh, watering because I, I missed my sprinkle time today because uh, I was doing this. But I got to tell you, uh, you got to test your zones, count your sprinklers and all that, and, and it helps you, walks you right through it. But I want to give you a little piece of advice. Uh, be careful where you stand when you turn these things on. <laughs> I got soaked. Hey, here's another uh, thing. The little screwdriver they sent, uh, you can, can you see that? That lasted about one screw. So that's junk, trash. Hopefully you got some nice set of little screwdrivers here that you can use because that won't last you, that won't work. And uh, right now, see this is doing zone one. And it'll tell you what zone you're doing. And it'll tell you that it's working. 
And you can also, I think, hit that button if you just want to set them all off. And it'll do it. I did it. I already had the app open, so I used the app. Now I'm going to button this up. I'll show you what she looks like when she's buttoned up. Put your little piece in right here. That'll hold your wires. Now it looks nice and neat. Covers everything. Then this thing just slides in here like this. And there you go. You're done, guys. Uh, I hope it is as, as simple as it seems to be. And I hope it lasts a lot longer than the hunter did. Uh, my yard guy, uh, he put in the cheapest everything he could find. And this started uh, not doing the right thing at the right time. Uh, I don't know if it's still good or not. I'm not going to toss it away. I might be able to use this at least off of it. But anyway. So we're going to try the beehive now. And right now it's still water number uh, one. I set it up for 10 minutes. And it hasn't been 10 minutes yet. Now I'm going to show you what else we're going to do on here. We're going to hook up zone 8. Alright, this is a little addition I'm putting on here. Uh, uh, I had 8 zones, like I said, and I was only using 7. And then I had a timer out here. It was watering my raspberry plants. And then I also was watering these plants along here. Drip line. So I've decided to add, as you can see, Another zone. This is zone number eight. There's my two wires, my white common and my uh, orange and yellow wire. I'm going to tie them in with that. Then when zone, count, zone eight comes on, it will automatically water everything out here also. So I don't have to worry about being around here. I don't have to worry about a battery going dead on that other thing. And why not use it? It's set up for it. So that's it, guys. Here you are. That's it for turning on this this uh, Orbic thing. It looks like it's going to work great. The programming is quite detailed and uh, I did the best I can and I think that's going to be good enough. So I uh, hope this video helped you out. It's really easy to hook that thing up. Uh, I don't know if they're all that easy, probably, but the programming will, you will want to pay attention and you will want to follow the steps. And now that I've got the steps followed, it's uh, going to water everything. I can turn the water on no matter where I am and uh, turn it off also. Plus it's set up to, since if it's going to be raining, it won't, it won't water. So that's good too. Uh, so that's it. Hope you enjoyed this video. You know, watch the last video, subscribe, you know, all that stuff. Have a good day.